Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my newt TBR. I recently posted my Owls Readathon wrap up and for the month of August, which I know this is going up a little bit late, but I have already been reading. So for the month of August is the newt Readathon. This was created by Book Roast. It's called the Magical Readathon. I'll leave everything down below that you need to know about it, but it's just like the Harry Potter tests. So for each newt that you take, you have to have done an owl in that newt. And then in your newts, there's three different grades that you can get. You can get an acceptable and exceeds expectation or an outstanding. So there's three challenges for each newt. And I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to be reading this month. I don't know if I'm going to get to everything, but nevertheless, let's jump into it. So the first newt that I plan to accomplish is the Ancient Runes newt. You get an acceptable in this new you have to read a book that's set in the past and for that i'm going to be reading the shadow of the wind by carlos ruiz safan for an except exceeds expectations for the ancient runes you have to read a book that is ancient on your shelf and this is actually the oldest book on my shelf and my i actually haven't read it and that is the night circus by aaron morgenstern i'm actually reading this right now and I'm really loving it. I'm listening to the audiobook, which is fantastic. To get an outstanding in Ancient Runes, you have to read a book that has been translated. And the book that I'm going to be reading for that is Sweet Bean Paste by Durian Tsukagawa. And this is set in Japan. It was translated from Japanese. For The Care of Magical Creatures, to get an acceptable in that, you have to read a book that it has an animal on the cover and for that I'm going to be reading The Raving Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. To get an Exceeds Expectations, you have to read a book that's less than 160 pages and for that I'm going to be reading American Sonnets for My Past and Future Assassin by Terrence Hayes. This is a poetry collection and it is 89 pages. And then for the last challenge to get an outstanding in Care for Magical Creatures, you have to read a book that has something to do with dragons. So I'm going to be listening to the audiobook for His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik. For the Charms Newt to get an acceptable, you have to read a book that involves magic. Now I don't know necessarily if one of the- like I have two things for this because I don't know if the one actually involves magic. Um, the first thing that I was going to- or planning to pick up is An Enchantment of Ravens. And if this doesn't have magic in it, I'm just going to read the graphic novel. Um, the Legend of Korra Tour 4 is volume 2 because I know this definitely has elemental magic in it. Next challenge to get an exceeds expectations you have to read a book that has a charmed cover and for that I'm going with Wicked Like a Wildfire by Lana Popovic. This cover is literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And to get an outstanding you have to read a book that you think will leave a mark on you and for that I picked The Marvels by Brian Selznick. For Defense Against the Dark Arts to get an acceptable, you have to read the last book in a series, and I'm going to be reading Always and Forever, Lara Jean. To get an exceeds expectations, you have to read a book that's foiled, and this book is so foiled and so gorgeous, and that is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. Like, okay, look at that foiling, but wait. Look at that foiling. Guys, this book is literally like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And it's on Book Outlet if you want to get it for really cheap. This is about some witches, so I'm really excited. So I'm starting to really get in the mood for fall. So I need some witch books in my life. And then the last challenge to get an outstanding in the Defense Against the Dark Arts, you have to read a book that has the word dark in the cover, in the cover, in the title. And I chose Anti-Darken by Kirsten White. And finally, for the Arithmacy Newt, you had to have read, I, okay, pause. <laughs> when I made my Owls um, wrap up, I hadn't yet completed the Arithmacy Owl, but since then I did complete it. I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I loved it so much. I think it's literally like my favorite book of the year. That's how much I loved it, so. Yeah, so I can actually complete this newt, and the to get an acceptable, you have to read a book that's at least 300 pages, and for that I'm reading Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. I'm currently reading this, which is why it doesn't have the dust jacket on it. And then to get an exceeds expectations, you have to read a book that ends in an even number, and I already did this challenge. You, I read All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. There are 308 pages in this book. 
And then the last challenge, which I have also already completed, and that is to read a book that is not the first in a series. And for that, I read or listened to P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. So yeah, that's my Newt's TBR. I'm confident in it. I don't think I'm going to get to everything, but I think I can get a decent amount of the way through. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.